Do you have some questions about the Cricut Explorer 3? Is it easy for beginners like me to use it? How do I use it in everyday life? Do I need to be an advanced crafter to be able to use it? How much does it cost? Are there any hidden costs? Are there maintenance and things like that do I need to think about? What all do I need to get started using it? What's included in the box? Can I use my own designs? If any of those are your questions, will you click on the right video? Let's Welcome to Simply Being Sabrina, your virtual best friend for cleaning, productivity, crafts, and mom life. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome everybody who's new. This video here is sponsored by Cricut. They did send me the Cricut Explorer 3, which I am so excited because you guys don't know I have the Cricut Maker. And if you've been following me, you guys know I'm always using this sucker. So the fact that I now got the Explorer 3, ah, your girl is pumped. So I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Just to let you know there will be timestamps in the description box. So if you want to skip ahead to any of those questions that I've already said that I'm going to go over. So enough of this talking. Let's get into the answers and let's see what's what's going on with it. Right out of the box, the Cricut Maker came with everything pretty much you need just to get started. Just at least get your first craft done or test craft done. Um, it comes with the machine, of course. It comes with the fine point blade. It comes also with the charging paper, the charging, um, or the power cord, rather. And it also comes with an extra cord in case you wanted to attach it to your computer. It also came with a sheet of the smart vinyl in black. It came with a clear, the clear transfer tape. It also came with um, the smart iron-on vinyl. And it also came with the cardstock, uh, smart cardstock paper as well. Now, setting it up is really easy. I actually end up setting it to my tablet, but you can also um, do it to your laptop or computer as well. It's pretty um, self-explanatory. Make sure you download the Design Space app, which I really love. They have a lot of um, free crafts in there too, and you can also pay for their membership. You don't have to pay for the membership to use it, but the membership does have its perks because it has a lot of great crafts, a lot of easy tutorials and steps to do, especially if you're new to it and you're kind of not sure of what to start with. I really do highly recommend design space. I do love that the Explorer 3, you can use the smart vinyl or the smart paper. Um, if you don't know what that means, that means you do not need a mat for it to cut. So it cuts down on time very much so, which I do love. It's a bit of a learning curve, which I will discuss um, in a future videos to show you guys what I'm talking about. But it was a little learning player of learning how to actually put it on there, especially when you cut it. But it comes out really nice. I do love um, that I did make a couple of crafts so far, as you can see. I did make these little lunch, um, they're like little lunch containers for my kids. And I always love to label things for them with their name on it. Um, and then when you do set it up, they do give you uh, a tester just to kind of test it out. So you can see for yourself where you can actually make a Cricut, um, the Cricut, uh, you can actually just make Cricut letters like the Cricut logo, and um, that was... Now, is this easy or good for beginners? I will highly recommend definitely getting the Cricut Explorer for beginners, um, especially if you want to do some of those, just um, some labeling. You want to label water bottles. You want to make T-shirts. You can make home decor. Um, I've done videos like that on my channel. You can check those out as well. So, um, and let's just let you guys know, I am not the crafty queen. I have not perfected the crafty craft, um, but yet I still am able to make a lot of things with this machine. And I, um, as far as using it for everyday life, you definitely can use it, um, especially if you want to organize, label your spice rack, label your pantry, you want to label your, anything that does with labels, labels your kids' room, especially if you have multiple kids like I do, and y'all tired of them arguing over everything. Oh my gosh, everything's labeled, but it doesn't look cheesy or crazy looking like, you know what I'm saying? You can have really nice font and make it look really professional, look really cute. It's also great for quick gifts. I've made several different gifts and things like that to give to people to personalize their names and make something really special for them. Um, I did a video where I made my t-shirt, my kids t-shirts for Christmas and it was really cute. They absolutely loved it that I was able to personalize something just for them. You do not have to be an advanced crafter. Like I said before, it is definitely beginner friendly. Um, design space 
if you go there, they have help tutorials and helpful links. If you go to the Cricut website, there's plenty of videos, plenty of message boards, plenty of places there that you can go to to get advice, ask questions. And here on YouTube, YouTube University is where it's at when it comes to tutorials. I don't know how many things and ideas that I've got just looking at YouTube as well. So this Clicket Explorer 3, it's going to cost you around $300, give or take. I do highly recommend buying the bundles that they have on the Cricut website, which actually ends up being um, cuts you down on a lot of the price, uh, especially when it comes to the vinyl. And it pretty much gets you what you need to start. Um, with the Cricut, you definitely want to give you a couple. I, I do highly recommend you to get a tool set, the Cricut tool set. I'll have a picture of it right here. The the tool set that pretty much that has everything you need really with that the machine and your smart vinyl that's pretty much all you would need for the clerk explorer 3 but now if you want to use different uh vinyl then you will definitely need to get the mat um as well with the vinyl including that but if you just want to just do the smart vinyl without using the mat that's all the pretty much the items that you're going to need to get any craft that you would like to get done. There's really no hidden costs. It's just whatever project. It just depends on the project that you're using. Um, if you're making a t-shirt, you're going to need the t-shirt. You're going to need vinyl. You know what I'm saying? If you're making this, you're going to, if you're making this, you're going to need the lunch pail and the vinyl. You know what I mean? So it's depending on what you're making. Now, as far as maintenance goes, I haven't really had any maintenance issues. Um, my maker I've been having forever. And I haven't had to really, I haven't had any issues with it at all. You do want to uh, be careful of the blade. Sometimes it may get a little sticky, so you might want to wipe that off or replace it, something like that. But other than that, I haven't really had to do that for real. So, um, so far, and maintenance is, I haven't had any issues. And I had my maker for what, about four years, three to four years now. And I just got this, so. And can you use your own designs? Yes, you can. You can use whatever design, whatever you want to come up with, whatever your imagination wants to run wild and do and create, you can do it. Which that right there tops the cake for me because I love to think of new things to design and make. So yes, if there's any additional purchases that you want to make. There are some extra things that you can get with the Cricut because they does do, uh, I think, foil. So you will buy like the extra blades for the foil, the scoring, and they also have plenty of different like markers and pens that you can also use for to write. But this wraps up this video. I hope I answered all your questions. I appreciate all the love and support to your channel. Definitely look in the description box to get some links and everything that I mentioned. Um, will be in the description box. Um, definitely let me know some of the crafts and things that you would like to see me make up ahead. Um, if you have any questions about the Cricut Explorer 3, definitely um, ask down below. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah. Love you. Yeah.